Henry Hill is on the phone. Let me get him on the phone and let him promote. Henry Hill is a, an ex-mob guy. He wrote the story that became the movie Goodfellas. Uh, Henry Hill is famous for the Lufthansa heist. Am I correct so far? Famous for the Lufthansa? Oh, oh you're famous for something else? successful heist in history. Say that again. I couldn't hear you. The most successful and unsuccessful heist in history of the United States. Right. It started out successful, but then you got... Then everybody got whacked. <laughs> Ran into some snags. Right. <laughs> There was a, a movie, I didn't see it, about the Lufthansa heist, but they, they said the Henry Hill, I think one of the guys on E! saw it. Do you know about this? They did a Lufthansa heist kind of movie. And with Donald Sutherland? Yeah, with Donald. What a piece of garbage that was. Well, the Henry Hill character ended up in bed with another man. That oh, is no. unsuccessful. <laughs> well, how, is there, what is that about, Henry? We was partying one night, and the, the, me and a friend of mine were partying with this chick, and I don't know how that got on you. That's, that's well, whatever. What do you mean? You were partying with this chick and you wound up in bed with a guy? No, with the chick. Two of you. Yeah. You you did another, you after the Lufthansa heist, you and this dude double teamed the chick? Sure. You never done that? That's so gay. Not with a guy. You're not normal, Henry. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. I'm not normal. I'm just What did you do out. with that guy? I didn't do nothing with the guy. He was on the other side. <laughs> and, and you're not telling me we that think, you... We think what you talk. Yeah, you sandwiched her, but you didn't see him naked? Huh? You saw him naked. You never seen the guy naked? Come not on, in bed with me. <laughs> Maybe in the locker room, but not in bed with me. And if I'm in the locker room, I see a naked guy, I turn my head. Yeah, but don't you <laughs> accidentally touch the guy? No, no, no. Yeah, you do. Oh, you know you oh, touched Robbie, the guy. Oh, Robbie, come on now. I'd, I'd never been in bed with a guy before and a girl, but I got to figure at some point you guys even accidentally touch a little bit. Howard. Be honest. Are you calling me a fagula? Well, I'm I'm implying that there <laughs> perhaps are. <implying>? <laughs> <laughs> hey. When's the last time you had a drink? Was the, the last time I left New York. Wait, the feds the feds picked me up that day, that Saturday morning after I left the show. Yep. And uh, they uh, they picked me up. I thought I was going to jail. Anyway, they took me to the airport. They strapped me in first class. Instructed instructed the uh, uh, the stewardesses not to serve me till I got. Till I landed. When I landed, uh, two more people picked me up and brought me right to detox for five days. Let me ask you something. Okay. You can't come here and promote your book because what? The feds told you you can't return to New York. Well, my parole officer. I got. I got five more weeks on parole. I've been on parole since 1969. Yeah, I was going to say, isn't that a long time to be on parole? <laughs> yeah. Well, look at Henry. They've had him on anyway, parole since they 1960. Parole, and they, they're trying every way. You know, so they says, please. I mean, I could have went and got a court order, you know, because this is my livelihood, you know. But they says, listen, in five weeks you can go to New York. All right, so he couldn't come here, so he's on the phone. Let me tell you about this book. It actually looks like a legitimate book. I mean, it's like what a real book. Pardon? It's on, um, I'll tell you who publishes it, New American Library, which is a big publishing house, The Wise Guy Cookbook. It's a uh, Penguin Pub. Yeah, and I guess it's uh, different Italian meals, veal scallopini, this kind of thing. Yeah, but it's got all stories in it also. You all right. Know, it's got a lot of stories in it. It's, uh, I mean, you know, it's got stories of where I lived all over the United States and how I improvised to make, uh, you know, different meals. And hey, Henry, your friend, is, a guy on the phone claims he's your friend. His name is Paul. Paul, is that the fag that was supposed to fight me? That didn't leave a number? No, I don't. Paul, are you a fag who was supposed to fight Henry? No, never okay. heard never heard anything like that before. All right. Okay. How do you know Henry? I met Henry in the uh, Lewisburg Prison and Farm Camp uh, back in 1977, maybe, 76, 78. Yeah, we, I was there. We were milking cows. Oh, Paul Maisie. Yeah, Paul Maisie. How you doing? I'm doing okay. How are you? Pretty good. <laughs> well, what How's you... your wife and kid? My family's good. Good, good. good. What, what were you in prison for, Paul? I was in prison uh, for uh, when I the first time I was in twice. I was in uh, the first time for uh, conspiracy to distribute LSD, <laughs> and uh, that's where I met Henry. And then uh, about four years later, I got indicted on uh, the Boston College scandal, where we uh, corrupted some athletes to shave some points in a uh, in a points shaving scheme. Yeah, yeah Henry. That guy, wow. 
Henry, you were in on that one, right? Yeah, yeah, I got involved. Yep. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. Did you guys make a lot of money fixing those college games? No. The, the, the thing ended up uh, half-assed backwards, uh, uh, mainly, I think, because we got Henry involved in it and uh, some of his people. We basically had, uh, we had an opportunity to make some money and beat some bookmakers out of some money. And uh, so living in Pittsburgh, we, we were well-known, and you could only uh, lay down so much money there without scaring anybody. So we tried to branch out into New York because uh, I knew Henry had some uh, friends who were bookmakers, and uh, we were trying to get the, to establish a network of bookmakers that way to uh, obtain uh, winning larger amounts of money. So what did Henry do? He got greedy? Well, Henry didn't get greedy. Uh, he got, uh, we, had, uh, we had a fly, I remember one time, from uh, New York to Boston, uh, Logan Airport. And then we met uh, some of these players in a hotel there. And... Uh, some of the players, uh, you know, at first they were going to cooperate, and uh, the, one day they'll they'll change their minds, and uh, it got to be a little bit of a complicated uh, situation. So what did Henry do to mess it up? Well, I don't know that he did anything to mess it up. Uh, what, uh, what I've been hearing for the past 20 years is that... Uh, Henry's the one that masterminded this thing and did this and did Boy, that. Boy, you have got to admit, you, you brought me Rick Hewn. Yeah, no, nah, I brought you Tony Pearl. Yeah, Tony yeah, Pearl uh, introduced uh, me and uh, to Ricky Kuhn. Paul, and, are you uh, upset? Just, are you yeah, upset? I brought you Ricky Kuhn. I brought you, I brought you the whole uh, Boston College scandal. And, uh, well, we got a movie coming out about it. You'll see it soon. Yeah. Can we tell a true story? In fact, I was looking to get in touch with you. Well, Paul. Uh, <laughs> sure, now he's looking to get in touch with you. No, no, really. Hey, Paul, are you upset that Henry's taking credit for your scandal? Yeah, I, I really scandal. am. Because, yeah, well, we got a movie coming out called Cigar Game, and the truth will be known, and it'll be a, based on a true story. Great. You know, Good luck with it. And, and, and Henry's been making claims for years that he supplied me with drugs and I was his connection and the fact of the matter was that it, everything he said about that was a lie. I'm the one that supplied him. When I met him in prison, uh, we smuggled drugs and alcohol and salamis and cheeses and stuff in uh, for his crew and uh, I couldn't believe it. When I met him, I thought he was uh, pretty well connected and had a few dollars and when I got out of prison, he was dead broke. He had a wife. He was paying rent and uh, could hardly even make the bills. I put him in action. The day, the day I got out of prison, I went to his house and picked up uh, uh, 50, uh, no, about 25 pounds of <laughs> and took a bus back the first day I got out of prison. He did help me a lot, this kid. He's a good kid. Yeah, but wait a second. He's saying that you're taking his story about the Boston I mean, scandal. He could be involved in the story. Who could get in touch with him? You could. How? How? He's never contacted me. He can reach me on my website. So what are you saying? You're putting out a movie, Paul, and Henry's going to put out a movie? Well, I don't know what Henry's doing, and it doesn't, uh, you know, I, I, I don't really care. I just wish that if he did put out a movie, and when he gets on these talk shows and, and uh, starts all this stuff, that he would start telling the truth. Well, I, I, I always tell the truth. No, nah, you always told the truth. Earlier in this conversation, and I'm sorry, I don't want to bring this up, but earlier in this conversation, you even lied to uh, Howard and to these other people and to this audience talking about the fagular. What are you, a fagular? You ought to tell them the truth about that, what happened. What kind of, what kind of fagular? Well, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Paul, what are you saying? Right. You saying Henry's gay? Well, I don't know what. I don't, he, he, if he ain't gay, this, he may be bisexual. This is a wannabe, and I don't want to be. Don't use the F word. Yeah. Yeah. Another, another freaking wannabe. Wannabe. And I don't want to be. You talked about a threesome with two and guys a, and a girl. And I was the guy. You were the guy? I was the, was the guy. The, reason, the girl's was name, shit. she was a Spanish girl by the name of Rosa. And what happened? Did Henry come on to you? I know a Spanish Yeah, what happened was, was, this uh, a meat boy. What happened was uh, we were all involved and tangled uh, in this three-way deal. And uh, th this was the first time, uh, maybe the second, well, no, this is the first time for me. 
And uh, before before I know it, uh, you eat ninety quaaludes. What are you talking about? Yeah, ninety about? quaaludes. Uh, you whack that son Yeah, of I know. That's bitch. a good. That's a good cover up. That's that. Yeah, that's that would be something. I got that would be something up, you. That would be something you would say. That would be I, something you would, would say. I, I mean, I'm embarrassed heart, to tell you and book. tell your audience that in that three way, I wind up in his. Yeah, wow. wow. That's all I can tell you. Well, so, uh, so Henry, the, Henry, <laughs> Henry, Henry, that's the gospel, that's the gospel <laughs> truth. I'm not proud of it, but that's the gospel yeah. truth. How was Henry? Is he any good? <laughs> all that, all that BS about him, this, that, and the other thing. Hey, Meantime, boy. ask him, ask him how he got involved in all this. He couldn't uh, rat out Jimmy Burke or any of those people because most of them You're were the dead. He didn't have beginning. a case at all. And in the Eastern District of New York, Ed McDonald, the U.S. attorney involved in charge of the case, had graduated from Boston College. They had grilled him and grilled him about this, that, and the other thing. And one day he looked up on the wall and saw a plaque with Ed McDonald's name on there, graduating from Boston College. And then he told Ed McDonald, hey, we did something with some kids from Boston College. And McDonald said, tell me about it. Well, they, 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 were, they were out of ammunition well, at let that me ask point. You he couldn't here. get a case together. Let, let me and ask as you. a result of that, tell us, let me, him, tell him us more about Henry's Ed mouth. McDonald, that's how all this Boston College stuff got started, and what we all got indicted. All right, so well. You, in other words, Henry boy. sent you to prison. Exactly. This guy sent more guys to prison than I did. Forget that's about it. it. That's a, that, that's a yeah, rotten, right, stinking yeah. lie. That's a rotten, stinking lie, and I told you someday I wish you would tell the truth. I'm still waiting for that 50000 I was getting from the Lafonza heist. I never got a dime. I got more promises than anybody you can imagine from this guy. It sounds like Henry gave you the ultimate prize. Hey, don't get me. Yeah, hey, yeah. You got that right. The you're surprise. Right. Not, you're not so, prize. You but your life three times. Surprise. Now, life Henry, what about. Life three times. Hey, I don't doubt that. I don't know about that. Henry, I don't doubt that for a bit. Henry, you're, you're, what, Henry. You know better. You know I saved your life a couple of times. I don't know about that. I don't. You, you never told me. me. You, you never told me, life. but I wouldn't doubt but it. Come on, Jimmy. Get out of here, Jimmy boy. Burke and some of those people you hung out with. Boy, but in the future, the just, just tell the truth. That's all. It's okay. <laughs> I understand. You were connected to these people, and the government wanted to put them away, and they were pretty bad guys. I didn't know these guys were as bad as they were when I met you, because you, to me, were very harmless. <laughs> the, the, I was a harmless day, guy. The other day, I see a TV show about you being some type of a chef, and you said, mentioned on the show there that you whacked three guys. I never three whacked guys nobody. Did you whack? Huh? What three guys did you whack? You never hurt anybody in your life unless you were cold blooded drunk. Yeah, you're, you're right. A, you're a maniac. I'm a maniac. Home maniac. <laughs> See you later, Paul. Yeah, nice well, you, have you. A, you have a nice life, and uh, start. I got a great the... life, my, my man. I know. I know you got a great life. You got the hope... limelight. I. You want to be in the limelight? No, I don't want to be in the limelight. That's why I stayed away all these years. But, but people want to know the truth about what happened with the hey, in the, college. The truth is out people there. People want to know the truth of what happened. And they'll there. see they it in the movie. The truth one they'll day. see it in the movie, man. Yeah. They'll the, see the they're not, see No one's going to believe you Look anymore. Up, I don't know how they believed you all these years. I know. Well, I mean, I, Pearl is supposed to be calling in, and he'll get on the line, and he'll dispute everything uh, yeah, okay. you've done and said about this deal. Plus, he'll agree with me. Oh, yeah. So well, you two were once you two were once lovers, and now <laughs> look at that, yeah, lovers. Well, you, you know what I mean. Yeah, I, <laughs> Henry. I, I, I Henry don't know seduced what you, mean, you, Howard. But that's okay. <laughs> now, I listen. Just wanted I really... to dispute the fact that he's a liar. Now, Henry. Uh, Paul okay. has said, uh, Paul. Yeah. Uh, you know, look. This guy used to eat forty quaaludes a day and snort an ounce. So of did you, Henry? Yeah, he acts as if he was an angel. Henry, you did too. Not forty. I mean, not nowhere near this. Guy. You did a lot of coke. Yeah, I did a lot of coke, a lot of quaaludes, but nothing like this. This guy's so whacked out. But well, Paul, don't you yeah, hate it when I was, Yeah, I was so whacked out, I was a very successful drug dealer. You can't be a <laughs> successful, successful drug dealer by being whacked out. Well, that's I true, never Paul. I never got out on anything. Paul, I never had to go into any 12-step program, never had any history, of, Pittsburgh and you're no history of drug abuse in my, in my entire life. This guy's a, this God guy's a, you, this guy's Paul, a life liar. Hey, yeah, he uh, you. Henry, you mentioned Paul in your cookbook. Do I? Yes, I believe you do. Yeah, where? He doesn't remember. No, I don't remember. No, no, Paul Vario, maybe. Oh. oh, it's a different Paul. But don't you hate it, Paul, when these crooks are unreliable? 
Yeah. Well, Paul, yeah, I understand. Well I, was, uh, well, I was trying to help him because he was a fa- he, he presented himself as a family man, and he had a nice family at the time. This guy but he is didn't so have cool, a dime. Brody, come on, all his friends of his, oh, all tell it how it is. Friends of his, they didn't give him a quarter. Everybody in Pittsburgh wanted to kill you. I saved your life a hundred. I saved your life a half a dozen times. Who wanted they wanted to, kill to whack you. Who wanted to kill Paul? Yeah, who wanted to kill me and the why? The guys you put away. Who wanted to kill me and why? Why? Because you were a rat. That's why. A rat. I saved your life. They wanted to kill you in prison. What are you uh, talking about? Give me a break. Come on, Paul. Give Tell me a break. Tell it how it is, kid. I never became, I never became a, a witness until uh, you screwed up my entire you're, life. You're, you're lying, crazy. son of a gun. Get up McDonald on the phone. Get the prosecutor on the phone. I had a good reputation. I had a good reputation until I met you. I can't believe you and I are sitting here 20 years later arguing over all, years the later. I, over all the things I did for you Paul, and your give me family. A call on my, give me a call at home. Give you a call at home? Yeah, yeah. Or, Forget about it. I don't have your home number. Well, I Paul, if I had your home number, I wouldn't call you anyway. Yeah, you know what? That, that, stop the bullshit. Hey, stop with stop the S-word, Henry. What? No S-word. Yeah. Okay. Stop the bullshit. We don't want this to get out of hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't want it to get out of hand. Paul, Paul by the way, you are mentioned in Henry's book. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm mentioned in Henry's book. I'm mentioned in, in the movie. I stayed away because I didn't want nothing to do with all them murders and all that craziness. And uh, this saved any- your life four times. All right. Listen, Paul. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank you for calling in. I'm glad you and Henry had this reunion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Henry, uh, listen, Paul says he masterminded a lot of stuff you're taking credit for, and oh, he would yeah. like his credit as well. He's because a genius. Well, like I said, when it comes out in the movie Cigar Game, you'll see the truth. All right. I got just a guy. Game. Paul, uh, let I'm me get into that. I'm yeah. beginning to think people go into crime now to get movies. <laughs> well, why not? <laughs> this yeah, sounded like two Hollywood producers right. getting together. Uh, Henry did well for exploiting all the opportunities. I mean, yeah, right. Well, I Paul, in a way, in a way, you're saying, uh, you know, you put you put this movie out. This is your credibility against Henry's, I guess, because you're selling a movie. That's probably true. Yeah. No. He has to sell. Well, it's after 20 years, though. You know, everything's every. There's people back uh, in Pittsburgh that probably would want to know the truth and what happened and how it all got started, this, that, and the other thing. And Clear conscience. I'm, sure there's, a, I'm sure there's other interested parties around the country who would right. like to know the truth. And all right, Paul. We love you, Paul. I don't know. If they want to put a movie together, what can I do? Paul, I'm, thank you very much for calling in. Paul, and thank you. I'm sure uh, Henry uh, is yeah, excited about hearing from you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you, Paul. Nice to you, Paul. All right, thank you. All right, bye-bye. We're going to be back right after these words. <laughs> So he could fart in stereo. Here's Howard Stern. Well, Henry, did you actually go and get into a, a car or something with some movie people and show them where you had buried bodies? I've done that. Yes, he has done that. He would never do it for us. I did so. I did it for you guys. Yes, he did. He did? Did we did. find anything? No. no. I did it for you first. Henry, What's boy, uh, Paul's saying some heavy That's things. Like this guy used to eat 10, 15 coin moves a day. Well, let me tell you something. Paul's saying that uh, he uh, masterminded. Right. You own 50 Gs on the Lufthansa heist. <laughs> you're right. Time to go collect this from Paul or Jimmy. And, and he's, saying, he's saying in the three-way that <laughs> y- you performed on him. He's out of his mind. Come on. As high I as I was, I never did that. I can't imagine. Come on, Henry. There are days you don't remember. Oh, I'll says, tell you what. I would remember that. And Paul says he's embarrassed by it. He doesn't he's like embarrassed it. by he, it. He doesn't like admitting that you performed. Uh, come on. That's a heavy story. Oh, yeah. Am Henry, I? you're by. Plus, you got a cookbook out. It don't look good for you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's get back to the cookbook, Howard. Did you eat the gobby goo? A <laughs> <laughs> brajol <brajore> with some... <laughs> hey, how you doing, Howard? <laughs> Robin, how are you, darling? <laughs> Wow. Well, let's see if... uh, I'm doing better than you, Henry. Hey, on the phone is that guy, Paulie, the one that you said you want to fight. Oh, Paulie. Yeah, what happened to that? Hey, Paulie. You there? How come he left me never left his number with you guys? Hey, douchebag, are you there? Douchebag. Yeah, I got you. Finally, finally somebody... Why don't you leave your number, you punk? Finally some... I left my number. No, you didn't. I left my number. You never left your number for them to call you back to set it up. Rat, I left yeah, you. You don't coward. know nothing. Yeah, like somebody, 
finally somebody to back my story up. That what you're you a rat douchebag now. We got fag involved now. Uh, yeah, that's now all right. the word fag Let's get in, in the there. ring. Let's get in the ring. I'll show you the fag. Henry wants to fight you. I, Howard, any time, any day, Howard, you set it up. Hey, hey, Henry, what happened? They wouldn't allow you in the party a couple of weeks ago, huh? What, over, over there by Sparks? They, they wouldn't allow you in the party down in, down in Little Italy, huh? What do you mean they wouldn't allow me? I, I can't come it to New York for some I'll be it was in the post. Listen, after November fifteenth, I'll be there, pal. I still got the write up. They wouldn't allow you in the park. Big Pussy said, "Hey, look, if Henry Hill's going to be here, no one else is. Plus, the wise guys that were there would have whacked you out that night if oh you went, went God, to the park." Oh my God! Yeah, like I'm scared of them. Come on, I'm on a chance. Why don't you leave your number and I'll meet you in Atlantic City in a ring? Left with Howard, I'll kick your ass any time. All right, now. Hey. Douchebag. Uh, yeah, I got you, douchebag. Leave Howard. your number this time, Howard. Howard leave finally, it. finally. Paulie, leave your number, Paulie. Paulie, leave your number, honey. Paulie, you, you didn't leave. Talking over leave me, it, Henry. Leave your number, honey. Stop talking over me, Henry. What's the matter? You don't want everybody to hear how, what a big scumbag you are. Why right. don't you leave your number, Paul? Howard, tell him I left my number, please. Yeah, well, you actually didn't. What, excuse me? They say you didn't leave your number. KC's got my number. Casey has your number? Exactly. All right, right. I'm going to line up the set phone. Set it up, Howard. All right, I'm going to set it up. And it, and if you want it again, keep me on the line. And I'll, and I'll tell you what, if you beat me, if you beat me, I'll give you a ring. Howard, this will be one of the biggest... i give you a ring if you beat me. Howard, this will be one of the biggest fights. This will go mainstream. Everybody will pick this up. All right. The E channel. You You set this fight up. And let this faggot come into the ring. I tell you, I'll give you a shit if you beat I'll me. Yet. Bury you. You bury I'll, me. I'll beat you. Henry so says down to the canvas. Henry says he'll give you a if you beat him. I'm sure he will afterwards. I'm sure he will. He says in the ring he'll give you. A What's the matter? Him and Frankie the fag used to hang out a lot. Uh, I got you. Am I lying, Henry? Yeah, am I lying? Take take you with Frankie the fag. You, you're the delivery boy. You used to go to Don Pep and get the food for everybody. That's yeah, all I got you to Don Pep. You didn't whack nobody out, Henry. What's the matter? These names sound familiar. Leave okay. your name today, kid. Leave your name. Let's see yeah. how much, uh, how much right. unis you got. All right, I'm, I'm hanging out on Leffitt's Boulevard with you, Henry, so don't give me kid. All right. Thank you very much, Paulie. All right, Paulie and, uh, and Henry Hill not getting along. Uh, Again. Paul, Paulie says he will step into... I'm Set put, it up, Howard. All right, I'm going to put you on hold. Hold on. All right. All right. Henry, you sure you want to get in the ring? Of course. Absolutely. That's crazy. You can... he says he's his Let oldest. me tell you something. I, I, I started training right after that. I got some good guys out here. Really? Yeah, honest to God. Hmm. My flight doctor, he's the best. All right, good. I, I mean, I got a crew out here that, that started training me. They says I whip... Four weeks, I will whip this guy. I will whip him. You I'm 59 what years is. old. I'm 165 pounds. I'll whip him. I got a heart, Howard. Do you want to speak to Ice Pick? He says he's your friend. You sure? All right. Oh, he's gone. No wonder. All the friends are gone. <laughs> Let's talk about the cookbook, Howard. You know, it's even great book. Come on. Henry actually gives you all of the recipes, the Italian recipes and well, stories. What stories could he tell? Hasn't he told all this? I tell you, I'm hearing some good stories today. I don't stories. Go to page 56. The mob. Dave, you're on the air. Yo. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, man, Henry's full of shit, man. You can't say the S hey, word, Dave. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's full of S. Um, man, I'm from, I'm from Philly. Man, this guy ain't nothing, man. Uh, uh -huh. A lot of Philly guys are A lot of Philly guys, a lot of Philly guys don't like you, Henry. Uh, I tell you what. Those Philly guys are all full of, full of it. 80% of those guys in Philly become rats. All right, Pete, you're but, on the air. But Henry, how can yeah, you call you somebody a rat? <laughs> uh, this, this what it, these, these gay idiots, I mean, what are they doing on the air? This one guy, he's, he's giving a <laughs> everyone. He sounds like Bob Barker's <laughs> a thousand times for the last two years. I all mean, right, all right, all right. Come on, the guy's trying to promote a book. Phil, go ahead. You're on the air. Yeah, Henry. Yeah. Um, Is Jimmy Conway out of prison? He's dead. He died in prison. He's, does anybody want to whack you? It's, I don't know. I, I guess there's a, there's a couple of guys in Philly and Pittsburgh, I think. Oh, but yeah? They, they what happened to your wife? wife? What? What happened to your wife, Karen? She's, uh, she's uh, fine and doing well. All My right. Good, good talking to you. All right, there you go. There's a guy who had some nice questions for you. Mm. Well, all right, Henry...
Uh, certainly, uh, the cookbook is out. It looks nice. I mean, I'm looking at the cover. It's a it legitimate looks like cookbook. A legitimate book. <laughs> it looks very legitimate. It's a great book, Howard. There's, there's great tips in it. it. There's great recipes and there's great stories. Mike, there's you're that. on the air. Yeah, Henry. Uh, the only guys I think you ever whacked are guys you whack. <laughs> <fat now. laughs> uh, they caught uh, you up at Mid Midnight Lace on uh, Cross Bay in Howard Beach buying some uh, lingerie, and you went. I'm not a tough guy. Dressing up in the lingerie. I'm not, a, I'm, not, I'm not a closet tough guy. No, no, no. Did you go in the dressing room and try on lingerie? Pardon? You went in the dressing room and tried on lingerie. I Midnight went Lace. Midnight Lace on Cross Bay, right? <laughs> what to this guy? Yes, uh, yeah, yeah. Is Absolutely. that true, Henry? Henry, did you go to Midnight Lace? Watch this. What? Tell him, Howard. I'm not telling him anything. Because he did. Hey, You're hey, saying... Do you dress in women's underwear? Did no, you? Surveillance cameras got him, Howard. <laughs> Surveillance not cameras lately. have Henry... Dressing in women's clothing? <laughs> right in midnight lace. <laughs> they pull on. All right. I love you. Br bring it me in. Me and Cabby. Uh, we're, both, we're both paratroopers. Me and Cabby. It, it, it's got something to do with jumping out of planes. What is it, uh, Jimmy? Jimmy, you there? Yeah, Henry. What? Hello. Jimmy, how Jimmy are you? From, this is Jimmy from Youngstown, Ohio. You know me? I don't know. You never lived in Youngstown, Ohio. I never lived in Youngstown, Ohio. No, I didn't. You lived in Youngstown, Ohio, you piece of crap, you. I never lived in Youngstown, Ohio. Yeah, I know what happened to you. You're a fag, you <laughs> freak. <laughs> you. All right. All right. All right. A lot of people. I lived a lot of places, never Youngstown. Yeah, Ice Pick, go ahead. You got the last word with Henry. Howard, that guy, Paulie, is full of it. Henry is the man's man. Really? Thank you. Who is Henry? That? Yes, sir. You never remember me? My father was Harry the Hatchet. Sure. Murder Incorporated. I, I we were I talking do. on the air last time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Howard, this man, every word out of his mouth is the truth. All right. There you go, Henry. There's I'm someone... telling you. Henry, what? good luck to you. Thank you, sir. And Why the book? It's, it's been a long time. Book book. We said, it's been 30 years since we saw one another, Henry. Mm -hmm. Remember the Anastasia hit? I don't did, the Gallo, did the Gallo brothers do that alone, or they had some help? Did who do it? The Gallows. Crazy Joe. Yeah. yeah there, there was a few people involved in that one. You Why? sure you weren't involved? Were you, I wasn't involved. Were you no. involved in that hit, Henry? <laughs> Not at all. Hey, Henry, that was a famous hit. That's a good one to be involved in. I wasn't involved in that one. Did you You're have probably a kid then. No, no. No, no. <laughs> I don't whack right. nobody. All right, Ice Pick. Every word out of his mouth, you could thank your money on it. All truth. right, thank you, Ice Pick. All right, Henry, take care. Hey, Ice Pick, thanks. Sure. Well, there you go, Henry. You have your fans among the mob and your uh, detractors. You will continue to be a controversial uh, See, person. Now, they got me out of the closet with my cookbook. Oh, my God. Uh, well, well, you the guys all full of, uh, Believe me. Howard, believe me, if I was a bisexual, I got... Let me tell you something, I'm a trisexual. I try anything, but that's baloney, those guys. Well, you were, uh, he says it happened. What I mean, I got... What do you, you think I'd be embarrassed about that? I'm I not don't know. If, if it was true. What How is many it? years were you in prison, Henry? I was in prison for, I don't know, seven or eight years. Mace, you're on the air. Hey, uh, Henry Hill. Yes, sir. All right. Well, we all know you're a cross-dressing faggot. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Yeah, we all know you're a cross-dressing faggot. Okay. What about that book you wrote that was a bunch of lies, The Heist? I didn't write that book. You mentioned I had nothing it. to do with that book. You mentioned in the book, talks about what a faggot cross-dressing lie you are. I never even, I didn't even know who wrote that book. I, I had nothing to do with that movie. Yeah, that's funny, because the tape floats around Howard Beach, and you in the surveillance of Midnight Lace getting dressed in women's laundry. Oh, my God. All right, there you go, oh, Mace. Oh, oh, right. well, Henry, 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 when you were in prison... Henry! When you were in prison... Henry! Henry! Henry. 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 When Henrietta. You were in prison. Henrietta, yeah. <laughs> did you get it on with guys? Of course not. Come on. What did you do in prison all that time? Seven years. Well, I mean, I used to sneak out at night, uh, believe it or not. Did uh, you serve yeah. the food? Did you what? serve the food? Pardon? Did you serve the food? I, I cooked a lot of food. In all right, all right. There's a whole chapter in it about it. In the movie. Were you at, at, at Don no, Peps? No, book. At Don Peps, weren't you the delivery boy? Delivery boy, yeah, I delivery. <laughs> Howard. <laughs> boy, that really, I know it sets Henry off. Watch yeah. this, sir. Hey, Henry, at Don Peps, weren't you the delivery boy? <laughs> no, delivery boy. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I was a delivery boy when I was 13 years old. At Don Peps? <laughs> no, no, I just <laughs> a pizza. <laughs>
Hey, Hendry, yeah. go get your shine box. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I would probably think you're going to come visit us when you come to New York as soon as yeah, you parole. I'll be there after the 15th. Hour. All right, you come in here and say, hey, Howard, set that fight up with that mook. You bet I will. How many more years of parole do we have? That's it. I'm off on the Five 15th weeks. of November. All right. That's it. Okay, thanks, Henry. You're welcome. Man. That's Henry Hill. There's obviously uh, so much fun when Henry's friends call in. I have fun ain't the word. anybody on parole as long as Henry. <laughs> right. Well, party. since 1969, he's on parole. <laughs> We're going to be back right after these words. So much to get to. So little time.